Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a pattern fill inside of an object using Inkscape. So first and foremost, of course, we've got to set up our document. So let's go ahead and click File, go down to Document Properties, make sure that that Show Page Border is unchecked. We've already done that. And then we can go to our View, go to dis Zoom, and then Zoom 1 to 1. Um, now let's go ahead and bring in our image that we're going to be using. Um, it's going to be this little check here. You can either drag and drop it or you can click File and Import. And as you can see that this background image is rather large. So we're going to go ahead and make a vector of this so we can scale it down without um, without it you know, distorting the image. So let's go ahead and trace a bitmap of it. And what we're going to do is let's do Let's click this down to like four scans. We don't need eight. We don't need that many. Um, we're going to go uh, stack scenes. Make sure you uncheck the remove, remove background when you're doing a pattern like this. If it's going to have pattern that's space in between, of course, you want to go ahead and remove the background. That way you can see through it. We're going to go ahead and click OK. We can actually now move our vectorized background off and then delete the original one. Make sure that's selected. We're going to hit Control Shift and zoom that way down because we don't need that thing too terribly huge. Now we're down to, you know, 100 millimeters by 106 as opposed to the 1300 before. So now let's go ahead and add in our object. We're actually just going to be using an M. So we're going to type our little M there, make sure that that M is selected and go up to the text panel and then click anywhere in the, you know, font family. And we're going to just type in BOL. We're going to go ahead and use bolster bold. We're going to go ahead and click apply. We can close that window out. Control shift, make sure it's highlighted, of course, and then we're going to make that as big as we can. Let's go ahead and put it over the top of that. Make it as large as possible. Okay, so now that we've got our object that we want to put this little pattern on the inside in, um, let's go ahead and change this text into a path. So just going to go up and to the path panel and go object to path, and that just tells Inkscape that you no longer want this to act like a text. It is now a, a vectorized image or a vectored path. Um, we're going to go ahead and control D so we can duplicate that. I'm going to bring this over here to the left or anywhere off the screen because we're going to be using it later. Um, go ahead and highlight both of those. We're going to go to our align and distribute menus, align horizontally and vertically to put that little um, M, the very direct center of that background. Um, while those are still highlighted, we're then going to go to object, flip, and set. And as you can see, that put in um, that pattern on the inside of that M. If we go ahead and zoom in on this though, you can see we get this, you know, kind of a weird um, break here. And so it just kind of ends. So that's why we ended up duplicating this M before we put that pattern in there. So let's go ahead and um, while holding shift and that M is highlighted, you're gonna go ahead and click whatever color you want. Um, let's do, yeah, I think red is gonna look okay with that blue. Um, and then go over to the fill and stroke, go to the stroke style. Let's go ahead and bring that down to about two millimeters. That way it's not so terribly large. We're going to go ahead and round those joints and then round the end caps. And that will give it a little bit better, a little nicer of a transition as opposed to those, you know, 90 degree angles. So now what we can do is we can actually um, take this M and put it over the top of this and move that to the bottom. So if we click this and then move selected to the bottom, Make sure these are both highlighted. Let's go ahead and align and distribute those horizontally and vertically. And as you can see, we get this nice little nice little border on the, around the outside because that border does extend past the original um, the original border of the fill color. And then of course there is another way of doing that little border too. So if we go ahead and highlight this um, black M with the red outline, we're going to go ahead and click this little X here, giving us a transparent interior and then hold shift and then select the other M with the pattern in it. We're then going to go ahead and align and distribute those horizontally and vertically, putting that object directly over the top of that one. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all there is to it. It's super simple. Thank you for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button if you guys like what we're doing here at Misfit Studios. Um, make sure to put notif turn notifications on so you don't miss anything every week, and we will see you guys next time.